Hey guys, now this is a beautiful winter day. I'm at the Richland Township Park, Richland, Michigan. Uh, should be at work right now, but I'm not. Took the past couple days off. Um, as I said in my last video, I've been, I was sick all weekend. Went in to do some snow removal on Monday and just about killed myself doing that. So was home most of the day yesterday, all day today. Got up this afternoon out of bed, feeling pretty good. Figured, why not? Good day for some flying. Um, this is an old AC Master. I'm sure most are familiar with the airplane. Um, this one I've only flown off snow. It's never flown off water. Kind of interesting. But today's going to be the first flight with the, uh, with the new carburetor. Um, this is a Magnum 46, uh, XLS. Excellent engine. Basically, it's the, basically it's the same thing as a Thunder Tiger or an OS. Um, just the Magnum carburetors are not very good. So this one I put a, uh, an old OS 4D carburetor on it. And that's a carburetor from a 46, uh, FSR. And it brings these engines to life. Um, I just ran it a second ago, got the low speed tuned in. Now let's see how it flies with this baby. Never started that easy with the stock carburetor. Quite a bit of snow out here. One last check, right, left, up, down, right, left, good enough. Oh yeah, boy this thing has come alive. That's how she's supposed to run. things Lumpshavak very well and they snap good they spin good and these planes are an absolute blast on the snow obviously they're a great float plane but on the snow they are just freaking awesome low speed still a little lean I'm gonna let it ride I don't care boing and to skip it across the snow here a little bit. I'm actually holding a little bit of down elevator so it doesn't get airborne. Oop. Seems like that high end's richened up a little bit. Bring it back and tune it a little bit. That is just so cool. Got to be careful when you're taxiing towards you because they don't stop.
to fly over here where I can see instead of staring at the sun. When you're out here flying like this, no rules. Fly where you want. Of course, out this way, a lot of obstacles. <laughs> Trees, fences, poles, my truck. As you can see, this thing, these Seamasters just fly so good. There's a couple knockoffs um, still on the market, ARF versions. Uh, called There's one called a Neptune, which is almost identical. You can tell it was basically taken from this design. It's amazing how well these things snap. Lumpshavak into a spin. I keep settling into the snow. <laughs> the knife edge pretty good. the other way. Knife edge is better this way. That's almost a hands-off knife edge, no coupling. That's nuts. I'm running a lot of nitro in this too. This is actually the blend I'm using for my uh, YS91. So, a lot of nitro. But when it's cold out, engines like a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra juice. <laughs> oh, come on. Try to dance it around using too much power. I think I'm still running plenty rich because I got a lot of smoke coming out. I guess I'll try leaning it out one more time. I don't want to blow up this engine. But yeah, just by switching to that new carburetor, or should I say that old carburetor, it's an all new engine. walk for it. There we go. Kind of makes me nervous. 
can't remember I don't think I filled the tank up all the way so probably a good time to bring it in huh? that thing is just running so weird it just it doesn't sound very clean right there. Awesome. I know most of you guys probably fly indoors in the winter time. Not me. Not me. This is too much fun. Yep. I think that uh, that carburetor needs some more dialing in, but uh, runs pretty good. 